The advanced scripting capabilities within Papercut NG and Papercut MF offer a whole host of options for making your users more aware of their printing and help you reduce your overall print cost. However, advanced scripting also allows you to think outside of the box and use it to show one-off messages to your users. In this video we are going to walk through downloading our one-off pop-up script and how you can edit this to get amazing results in your environment. Here's a shot of the pop-up we are going to run through this setup for. This example is designed to alert users to upcoming IT maintenance. Users will see this pop-up when they print, but once dismissed it will not be displayed again. We've put all the information you need to get up and running with our script on our knowledge base. Just go to papercut.com and search for our one-off pop-up, or use the link below to check out the article. Once you've found our article, you can use the link to open up our sample script. You will then see the script and be able to copy the contents. Over in your Papercut Admin interface, select Printers from the left-hand menu and select one of the printers you want to apply this script to. Then simply select Advanced Scripting from the menu. Check the tick box to enable the print script function and paste the sample script into the editor. We're now going to run through the script so you can understand what each step does and how you can customise it to meet your requirements. The first section we're going to look at is setting up our variables. We have three to set up here so let's run through them. At the end of this script we are going to write a value to the user's profile in the database so we know if the pop-up has been displayed. This first variable is getting the current value of this property and writing it to the variable called viewed. The second variable we have to set is the end date for the script. This tells the system when we should no longer show the pop-up to the users. In this example we have a set date for our maintenance so we don't want to show the pop-up to the users after this date. You can simply set your own expiry date using the format as shown here. Be careful as JavaScript sets the month using values between 0 and 11, with 0 being January and 11 being December, so make sure you set yours correctly. The third variable is getting the current date at the time the script is run. You don't need to change anything here, so just leave as is. Our next section is going to compare the current date and the end date, to see if the end date is in the future and therefore the script should be run. This will also look at the value of the user property to see if we have displayed the pop-up previously. In order to display the pop-up we want this value to be set to null, meaning it does not exist and therefore has not been displayed to the user already. Our next section is setting up the pop-up a message that will be displayed to the user. We are using the prompt OK pop-up, this will have a single option for the user to select OK. As we don't require the user to take any action, which some other scripts require, we do not need any additional buttons such as cancel. The entire next portion of the script is the HTML that has been set up to give the pop-up its styling. Let's run through what each bit does. The first line is setting the width, height and font colour for the pop-up. The next line sets the background for the pop-up. You can use a standard web hash value for your colour selection. The next line sets the font size, weight and alignment of the title of our pop-up, in this case Scheduled Maintenance, with the following line being the actual text. In my example I've inserted an image, you can do this too. Just add your custom image into the program files for Papercut. In the folder Server, Custom, Web directory and then simply rename the calendar underscore clock dot png in the script to your file name and format. Don't forget the file extension. The next section allows you to set your message that will be displayed to the user. This uses standard HTML formatting so you can customise to your heart's content. In my example I wanted to give users a link they can click to visit the support portal. So you can also do this by simply replacing the link to the Papercut website and the text that is displayed to the user, in this case support portal. The final line in the HTML allows you to set up the title for the pop-up box and the description. 
both which are shown at the top of the pop-up. I have mine set to IT announcement and the message saying scheduled maintenance is coming up. The last step in our script is writing the property against the user so they won't see the pop-up again. As you can see we are writing a property called displayed and setting this to yes. That concludes the script. After you've set up your script you simply need to select apply and the script will now be live and start displaying to the users. You may wish to now go and copy this script and apply it to your other printers. This script can be used with both Papercut NG and Papercut MF and you can find out more and get started by dropping over to our knowledge base article on our website. Thank you.